I was going to make a few months ago that we weren't even going to pick up the Senate and we'd probably lose seats. Uh, but thinking, you know, I got a column and a speech, and I don't, I don't know what I'm going to say. <laughs> but the good news is there are some silver linings. One is I'm totally winging it tonight. I will have an extra long question and answer period. Uh, oh, if you have, if you have any real estate in Florida, the prices have gone way up. Uh, if you need to buy a place in New York, you can get some great deals. <laughs> because whoa, people are going to be having to exits now. Um, another silver lining is Eric Adams, the mayor of New York, probably no longer has, um, will be saved by, by Lee Zeldin. That was one thing. I mean, I was actually kind of looking forward to it. Uh, unless Democrats do the weekend at Bernie Singh with, with Biden, which I kind of think they're, they're going to try to do. Um, there are once they get rid of Biden, they don't have a lot. They don't have much of a <laughs> much of a team below that. Um, but Eric Adams, <coughs> former police chief, uh, ran 100% on law and order. He hasn't really been able to do anything, but a lot of that is because of Democrats in Albany. He's gone. He said, "You got to you got to get rid of the no bail law. We keep, we keep arresting the same people over and over again." Democrats in Albany won't do anything about it. If Zeldin had, if Lee Zeldin had won and come in, he, he could turn Mayor Adams into a hero, the savior of the Democratic Party. He would have been on a blind path. So that's over. Zeldin lost. On the other hand, um, Republicans, because of Zeldin, there are, uh, we picked up some house seats in New York because of DeSantis. We picked up a lot of house seats in Florida. Um, and uh, and we've increased a seat in the Assembly and the Senate. So I don't know, maybe Democrats will get the message to people who care about their own. Uh, finally, I can say things that I have been. Are you, are you going to take care of that? Do you have any men to do this? Why is it always girls going and talking to disruptors? <laughs> but do you get the warning first, and then eventually they will be. Um, well, this is unfortunate. Probably not one of the more impressive schools at Cornell. One of the things I've given more college speeches than I think anyone else in America, and one of the things that I've, I've always noticed is it's usually at the Bush League schools um, where you get the protesters like this. You go to a place like Harvard, and you know they're smart. They want to challenge you with question and answer. They can get you there. And I've spoken at Cornell about three times since graduating, and every time until now I've been able to say, Oh, phew. my alma mater is one of the smart schools. Um, so if you can leave me with that impression tonight, that would really do me a solid. Um, so maybe a little faster on the removals. Finally, and the funnest part is I can say the violence. things. We don't <laughs> want you to speak here. We <laughs> <laughs> want our violence. You're not speaking for anyone but yourself. <laughs> but violence is Thank you very much. Uh, yes, we're trying to have people listen to you. If I want to converse with you, we do not want your ideas here. Leave! Leave! You can take me out. Leave! Leave! We don't want your ideas here. If this 
takes more than 60 seconds next time, I'm going to wait for it. Security, you get a little more organized. Your words are violence! Okay. Your words are violence! Violence isn't violence, that's why you're looking for gold. <laughs> <laughs>
giving you an extra security. She'll be on in just a moment.
What's violent is you're a fucking fashion! <laughs> I've been dying to say for this entire campaign, um, but I really no, can't, 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 to no, 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 um, and one is, I think there is one of the clear lesson from what happened last night. And culture, in reference to illegal immigration, you once said, you don't want to get killed by ISIS, don't go to Syria. You don't want to get killed by Mexicans. There's nothing I can tell you. Well, in 1979, my family was eagerly immigrated to the United States from Nicaragua, and that's the thing I'm very proud of. My grandparents were not learning things more American than you. It is a shame at, that at the most, one of the most prestigious universities in the world, their students behaved like children. Have a good evening. I mean, the losers are the same people. Those of us who want to hear what she has to say. So much for that. So rude. Yeah. So rude. What a bunch of babies.
bunch of babies. You know, it's 